Joe Gens might have been the most intriguing person of all. Joe Gens, this big, kind of dumb guy that would do what anybody said. He's just a handyman with a low education, a low uh, IQ, a low mentality that, in my opinion, just wanted to survive. He's just trying to survive. So he met Bob through a mutual friend, a furniture store owner who would later become prominent in the case. And he had introduced him to Bob because Joe Gentz was down on his luck and he needed a job and he needed a place to stay. And get a phone call. Where are you? You need to get to Gross Point Park now. Why? Just get there. Just go now. We got a person of interest. He walked in, he confessed. Basically, the way it happened was Joe Gens walked into the police department, and Joe said, I killed Jane Bashera," And the cops were like, yeah, sure you did. Go. He killed Jane Bashera," And the police said, OK, yeah, yeah, whatever. You can go. So it was at the third time that Joe said, listen, I need to talk to somebody. I killed her. Here's a guy that waltzes right into a police station and confesses. You just, you didn't see that one. You didn't see it coming. I had her with, I was already on the ground with her, and I had her by her neck. His motivating factor of turning himself into the police was to keep himself safe, because he didn't believe he was going to be safe on the street. I don't know. I'm scared of this right now, OK? I don't know who's involved. I got no idea. My life's not a line. 